welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, link is in the description box below. There's also a join button if you want to become a member of my channel. And if you have recently become a member of my channel, welcome. Let me just check and see who do we have. Has anybody else joined up that I might have missed? Cherry Bon Bon. Welcome, Tracy White. Nice to see you guys. Thank you for joining. All right, let's get into this reading. I'm going to take a look at the month of March. Okay, so far you have lightning. Oh, I forgot to put my purple lights on. Ah, that's better. Okay, sudden change, shocking news, surprise. Epiphany, upheaval, transformation, hand of cards, taking a chance, risk, being strategic, oh, options, not showing hand gambling, I like you, somebody likes you, somebody's going to take a risk. Okay, let's check this out and see what's going on. And just keep in mind, some of these messages may or may not resonate with you, don't try to force it to fit. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, it's just not for you. Come back tomorrow. There's another message. Okay, you've got lightning. So, so you're going to get some shocking news. A sudden change in behavior, surprise, actions, transformation. Let's see what's going on here. What is this sudden change for Virgo in March? Let's see. I can't get my cards out today. Okay. Let's just keep it simple. Oh, hmm. Okay, Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So, someone's coming down from being in defensive mode. Um, someone's going to be single. King of Wands. King of Wands, masculine or feminine en energy coming in. Someone's going to take it. There's a king of wands. He's going to take a risk. Fire sign. Going to take a risk with you. Um, wants to date you. You're going to be surprised. This is going to come to you in March. Um, Virgo, I feel like you are kind of like you're, you, you have some blocking energy. You're just like, I don't know what that means. Um, you, you're just, nobody touch me. <laughs> You kind of have like, everybody stay away from me. You kind of have that energy in March. But, but you've got someone here who's got their eye on you. They're looking at you. You, they look and see how attractive you are, how financially stable you are. You know, if that's your situation, fantastic. Um, there's a meetup in March. Um, you get asked out on a date. Um, or asked by a king of wands to meet you and this is new okay Virgo so this is not the ace is here this is a brand new thing and I don't know why you'll be shocked maybe because they're well off or they are um, just something about them very attractive and you're you might just be like who who me <laughs> pushing back on it like you know not me they must be talking to somebody else no Virgo they're talking to you this person is like it coming out of the blue this is a, a brand new lovely beginning with someone here so you know if you're single as a Pringle or you're just like out of a relationship and you're ready to date um, or you are dating or you're just on the fence somebody's coming in like Mighty Mouse to save the day. <laughs> they could be born in the year of the rat, I'm hearing. Um, all right, let me see what else do you have for this. I love these messages for you. Oh, wow. They got big guns. So they work out. I'll say that. If it's, you know, I mean, hey, if you like girls with the big guns, it is what it is. Um, there's, I'm just picking up like someone who's strong or fit or in really good shape, okay? And yeah, um, they're kind of like hold you in high esteem or at least will. Mate, do you already know who this is, Virgo? Maybe you already are aware who this person is. Um, and you guys, I saw in some of the comments you were asking about this. This is a candle warmer. It's not a diffuser and it, it's got an angel on it 
So if you were asking about that, I saw some, that's what this is. It's, it's, um, has like a, I can't take the top off because it's kind of stuck on the top, but yeah, it's a candle warmer or, or a uh, wax melt warmer kind of thing. All right. Anyway, back to your reading. So yeah, Virgo, um, I feel like someone that they have great ideas and plans that they're thinking about you or they're looking at like, you know, how can I do this? How can I make this work? I just feel like either they, they come forward in March or you find out about this. They have like this epiphany. Like there's a sudden change here. So they have like this epiphany or something like, you know, I have to be with Virgo. Um, yeah, something along those lines. And even with the hand of cards, I feel like this person... <sighs> so why would they have to be not showing their hand like that's the question why would they have to be kind of holding back or being a bit kind of secretive about it um oh i just heard because they they don't they're being strategic is more along the lines of what they're doing because they want to make sure it's an ace in the hole <laughs> when they ask you out you know what i mean um Okay, you've got the death card. So that's the first major arcana, Scorpio energy, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person, they've kind of like, so maybe they know you already or they, they're watching. Or if they don't, if you don't know who they are or they don't know who you are, there is this, this person is quite passionate but serious about investing. Like this is someone who... Because that is a card of gambling or investments. This is someone who just kind of, you know, like when you're looking at your stocks, you observe certain stock for a while or, um, you know, something that you want to invest in. You don't just jump right in, right? Smart people kind of watch how um, an investment is doing before they chip in or they want a piece of the pie. So does that mean they're watching you to see how you're doing? I mean, perhaps, but they're very serious. They, they're not jumping in. But they are um, very passionate and lust-filled. And this person, they like to do things and go places, okay? Um, they might like to go to Vegas. Or they, there might be like an offer for a trip to Vegas for some of you. And I know if like you already live there, that may not be a big deal. Um, but for others, it could be a big deal. But I am picking up like, um, or maybe they play poker. They, they do a little bit of gambling or something like that. Let me see. It could be on a poker TV show as well. Okay. Whoa, the Emperor Aries energy. Hmm. It's your daddy. <laughs> it's your daddy, Virgo. Here come your daddy. <laughs> just be like, okay, daddy, wherever you want to go. I'm just kidding. So, yeah, the Emperor. This is someone who is uh, very stable. I really like that energy of the emperor, masculine or feminine. This is someone who's very stable. They have a lot of money. They might be like they, they own their own business or they're head of their company. You know, they're, they're, but they're very, like the emperor is perfect for having strategy. The emperor is very strategic, doesn't mess around. So, wow, Virgo, what does this mean for you? Okay, something I also feel like with them, something has ended in their past and they are coming in scot-free clean the emperor is what you want as an energy coming in someone who shows up like dependable you feel safe everybody feels safe with the with the emperor so they come with like this safety energy yeah and this person has no qualms about cutting out the riffraff they don't like the riffraff in their life okay so march definitely it might be around march 5th but this person i feel like they don't take any shit from anybody at all they they wouldn't they're the emperor and anybody that tries to come in and and, and you know attack them or do anything or they have a very protective kind of energy and they're pretty proud of who they are and what they can do like they know who they are the, the self-esteem is like through the roof with this emperor they know who they are and they don't like any games any messing around 
You know, they're very commanding, not demanding. Don't have a big ego. Any games that are being played, they're like, you're out. Like an umpire. You're out of here. Maybe they're in baseball. Okay, let's see. Or they own a team. <clears throat> or in some kind of team sport or something. Okay, let me see. This is awesome, Virgo, for you. It, it, this feels like someone that maybe you need in a sense you know the emperor is very dependable like this is someone you can count on and a lot of people respect the emperor um let's get one more card for virgo yeah this person's a winner winner chicken dinner 100 percent. they are a winner this is not a loser. This is not someone that sleeps around. This is not someone that lies or is deceptive. They are truthful. They are calculating with what they say. Not calculating. Strategic with what they say. They're, they're, they have careful consideration with their words and the things that they express. They're not out to hurt. But they do, they have a leader, leadership qualities about them. They might even be in the public eye, like I said. They could be in some kind of sport or connected to uh, some type of public thing. Yeah, so, uh, and I feel like they don't have to be, but they, they come across like when you meet this person, they could be a lot older. There might be a giant age gap between you and this person for some um but when you meet them i don't know they just keep giving me this like who's your daddy <laughs> i know some of the guys on here i mean if you if you roll the dice that way then there you go but if you don't this this is someone who is like comes across like with this the opposite of the emperor would be like the empress not the opposite the similar would be the empress where it's more like someone who is um wisdom and experienced do you know what i mean yeah okay i could just i could just imagine some of the guys in the chat right now like sugar mama <laughs> who's your mommy <laughs> sugar mama there you go i'm not it's not it's not you guys it's not it's just because what's age? I mean, age, I think, counts if you're like 35 and you're dating a 15-year-old. That's when I think it's a problem. Otherwise, if you're, I mean, even if you're like, look, I don't want to judge. I don't want to give my opinion. I, I'm not seeing a massive age gap, but enough of an age gap that it it's something that you'd be like, oh, okay. But at the other end of it, you could be the same age, but there's a maturity with this person and probably with you too there might be i don't know who exactly i'm speaking to but this person shows up very mature and wise they have experience behind them they know how to handle things in life they might even be retired or getting ready to retire so yeah you've got i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date so you meet this person just kind of it's like a scout they scout you out you connect um and then i feel like there's a second date and then like a third and then it's like yeah i want to keep dating i want to see you again that energy there's the empress so there you go okay so libra and energy taurus however there you go so it's you know masculine feminine energy here we've got something that's happening here for you virgo uh new beginnings oh see sweet knight of cups i know some of you would just love to hear this i know there's so many of you who are like i'm done with the past and that's fine um this is a new this is new this all this energy feels new march you may not be in a committed exclusive relationship in march but there will be somebody else that will be significant. You will have someone significant showing up. If you choose to accept that, this you will have this person showing up and um, wanting to date, wanting to connect, wanting to be with you, wanting to uh, see you again. Romance will be high on the list with this person. You guys going out doing things uh i just saw somebody because they said ace in the hole so somebody might like to play golf i just heard okay 
Oh, gosh. So this is the kind of person that's like, hey, um, they uh, just heard we'll cover all the expenses. Now, I don't know where you are with your belief system and all that. And, you know, you can always say no. But I feel like this person, they show up as like, no, don't worry, I'll take care of it. No, I'll pay for everything. Um, not that they look down on you and will think that you can't, but they'll make offers. At least, it, you know what I mean? Like, they'll, they, they'll make the offer. They won't, like, tell you that you can't chip in or anything like that. It's not... What is the word I'm looking for? It's not like a misogynist type of a person. This is more like someone that is like, they're very forthcoming with um, their wealth or their money. They're not selfish. They're not greedy. They're not miserly, right? So, you know, if, if I know Virgos can be the type that don't want to ask for help. Virgos want to do it on their own. They don't want to be a burden to anyone. They never want to ask for handouts or anything. And I don't see that you'll do that. But if this person senses that um, there's an opportunity for them to give, they will. So they're very self-sacrificing. I love that. This is going to be, with that lightning card, like I just saw the tower, this is going to be like a total shock to you. You know, and it, it's not coming in with like a manipulative energy or anything like that. This, I don't see this person. Like this is true. They just said true blue. This is like a true blue thing here. Let me get a couple more cards. This feels so nice. I'm so happy for you, Virgo. And I hope that this is so like the sun will come out tomorrow. So, you know, Virgo, you, you know, the surrender... Uh, the defeated surrender card, the, the dark black clouds moving away, the light coming in on the day. You know, maybe you've had a black clou cloud over your head for some time, um, figuratively, or you've felt like, you know, you just can't get ahead, or you feel like you've just been defeated or stabbed in the back so many times and you're you know you're just done i see you kind of surrendering to this also and and there's that same energy from this person uh, but mostly for you now it could be another earth sign taurus virgo capricorn but it's mostly like if this person makes an offer to pay for dates or you know wants to give monetarily you know of course virgo is going to be like Oh, let me think about it. I don't know. But I see you surrender to that because it feels genuine. Yeah, there you go. King of Pentacles too. It feels genuine. It feels like this person really means it. Like they, they're not trying to get something from you if you have a concern about that. Okay. Let me see. Why is the hermit here? Hmm. For those of you, um, okay, this is interesting. Now, you may have a toxic person uh, that's in your periphery somewhere or still the energy is still around. And you may have like kind of went into hiding, I just heard. Or I guess it's hiding or just pulled away or withdrew from this toxic energy. Um, like a, I, it feels like maybe another person or you are just kind of coming away from that and you're doing a little self-reflection or just trying to gain wisdom and asking yourself, is this person coming in and being like that person that you dealt with before? So, you know, you're wise, you're, you're hip to the game, I think, but you may also um, still have this toxic energy attached and I want you to know something. Whoever this devil, remember we had the snake in the beginning of the week, whoever this person, this snaky person is, they're not going anywhere. 
okay they're gonna come back and they may if you they find out that you are dating someone or you're connecting with somebody else they are gonna try to sabotage it and really lay it on thick here with the cupid's arrows and the love bombing and oh i just i'm so into you and all that stuff you might just i feel like that's more of like a little bit of a warning to pay attention like don't let anybody sabotage a good thing that's coming towards you okay um because they feel like somebody new is showing up here and and they just keep telling me true blue so i don't know if it's like their favorite color is blue or you know blue represents what what is blue i had it written down i mean when i look at the color blue it always makes me feel calm oh yeah so i have this paper um color blue rep oh yeah okay makes sense symbolizes communication speech expression imagination and freedom and blue is associated with the throat chakra so what does that mean when they keep telling me true blue it feels like this person um the communication between you and this person this new person is going to this ace in the hole is going to be really really good there's going to be a lot of communication now it could be coming from them as well here too you know they really like you they want to see you again uh, or start dating or that kind of energy and you might still be like oh i gotta get rid of this uh this attachment but you know what virgo don't wait just that attachment will begin to fade if there's any kind of toxic thing that you know you, you feel like is still in you somewhere um that's gonna fade as somebody new you know it's the old out with the old in with the new okay look at that knight of swords true blue was that a madonna song true true blue can't remember i think it was wasn't it true blue i can't remember but um yeah i don't know maybe it's a leo okay let me see if there's any other messages here that virgo needs to know with the tarot okay yeah so oh okay this relates to if there's someone from your past that's you know toxic that's so that doesn't have to be a romantic relationship it could be a friend or just you know as an acquaintance or someone else you have a connection to um they might want to hold on to you and 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 say or tell you you know don't go that kind of thing but it looks like you're going to be a heartbreaker or you're just gonna maybe tell somebody that you're you know i'm, I'm sorry i'm out <laughs> i feel like that might be the message you're going to give somebody and that's only if you have a connection with someone that's toxic that you still haven't gotten over or haven't been able to let go of like the queen of swords is holding the the sword there so that's like crystal clear cut and dry you know so um you're gonna it looks like you're gonna shoot straight from the hip give it straight to another person who you know it could be a friend you know there could be a friend who's like really dependent on you and doesn't want you to get involved with somebody else because they, they might try to stop you from going you know or or, or taking a, a relationship because i mean that happens two people get in a relationship and then everybody just kind of drops off the face of the earth and if that relationship doesn't work out everybody goes back to those people so i do and i'm not sure who it is but it comes with a little bit of toxic like someone's chained to you and they're not going to want you to go and you know you have like i'm sorry to break your heart but you know like you'll be okay but i'm i'll, I'll stay in touch or uh, i'm sorry this isn't working out for me and i'm moving forward okay so let's see what other messages you have here okay go slow this is your advice take time to get to know each other I like that that's really really great okay time alone or in nature will help you recharge so i kind of feel like you and this person um may, maybe maybe we'll go for walks or hikes or somewhere out in nature or the beach or the mountains or um i don't know 
in the desert, wherever, or walking, you know, if the weather's decent, walking together. I just, I just see you and this person walking together, this new person, and holding hands and talking. Like it's, and it's kind of a leisurely walk, so it's you two talking and getting to know each other, retreating from everyone and, and spending time together. Oh, wow, here and now, your true love is already part of your life. So this person, you know, I know it's February 27th. Shout out to my son, Devin. He's 25 today. Yay, my little Pisces. Um, but I feel like this person is kind of like around you somehow or near you. Maybe they're in your town and you haven't met them. But they're, they're there. They're around. Okay? And they're coming in. And this, okay, past life love. So this person and true love, there you go, true, true blue, true love. So this person, this is your, your past life love. Like in other words, you guys were together in a past life, not in the past. This is not your past person. This is a past life love. Like you were together in another time and you're coming together again. Okay, now for some of you, Small percentage of you, it could be someone like, say, you dated when you were teenagers and then you guys are coming back around again. Or there's a connection to that. That's just a small percentage. But I really feel like it's something new. Okay? I really do. All right, let's take a look and see the Chinese sign of this new person coming in. Show Virgo. Chinese sign of this new person coming in. So, you know, Virgo, it's year of the dragon. It's a good time for you, Virgo, this year for Virgos. Year of the goat showing up here. Year of the horse. Year of the snake. Year of the pig. There's rooster again. Year of the tiger. Okay, we have a horse again, of course. Year of the rat. Now, I said that, didn't I? Year of the Rat and Year of the Dragon. Okay, so if your Chinese sign is not there, don't worry. It doesn't mean it's not your message. All right, let's see if we can get some initials. Okay, somebody works for Keller. They just said Keller Williams, like it's a realty. Someone's in Hong Kong. Um, KW. Um, September 20th. Oh, look, you have 555. Five. Okay. Well, the fives represent change, realignment, freedom, and travel. So you might see 555 five, five on the clock. If you start seeing that, or you have been, this is your message. Um, but we also have September 5th. I also have someone is aged 55, or born in 55, August 31st again. Okay, September 16th. The letter N, as in Nancy or Nelly or Nala. <laughs> Zan. Zan. Z A N. But the letter Z, initial Z. Okay. So they're showing me September. What day? September 8th. Uh, someone's born in April. We have the initial I. Let's see. We have a K again. And the letter E, Ezekiel, they just said. Um, and then I heard the name Aaron, Kevin. Okay. Uh, someone practices a martial art called Aikido. That's Japanese martial art. Okay, we've got Bobby, Bob, Robert, September 8th. Um, Someone's from, they just gave me Kowloon, Kowloon. Uh, Rebecca, I just heard. Um, someone shoots like as an archer. Maybe that's a sport that they do, They bow and arrow. I'm picking up. Okay, 1970, age 55 again. I'm telling you, fives are big. Fives are big right now. Five, 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 55. 
Okay, with the letter P, 1966. Uh, or the age 66, we have age 44. Someone's born in 1979. POW. P-O-W. POW. POW stands for something. I'm also hearing Paul. And... Hold on. Oh, somebody's... Are somebody eating a banana right now? They just gave me an image of a banana. Okay. I love bananas, but I'm allergic. I can't eat them. So banana. Something banana. Hold on. Let me see if there's any other messages that I'm getting here. Okay, they just said open. Make sure you either open the window or you just open the window. Um, okay, now they're giving me the word panko. Panko. P A N K O. Panko. Um, <laughs> somebody likes, okay, they just said Zittner eggs. Like, I guess those are those chocolate candy Easter egg things, Zittners. I don't know if, I don't know, uh, they just said Zittners. I've seen them before. Zittners. Or there's a zit that you got it, like, you can have your first date and you got a big old zit. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Um, what other messages? Hold on, let's take a look, because I'm pulling all these numbers. Okay, 1975, someone is 35, someone is 47. August 26th is a birth date. All right. And let's see if we can narrow. All right, one more September birth date. 12th, September 12th. And let's see if we can narrow down this person's Venus sign. No, they said no, not their Venus. You know, they said do the sun, okay? Because I know we had fire, and, and we had earth, and there was air, okay? So Virgo, Gemini, Aries, and then there's water, Cancer. I wasn't picking up strong water energy here, okay? Definitely not, but Sagittarius, double, Libra, and Gemini, see? So as far as water goes, it looks like just a Cancer, Scorpio, there's another water, and Cancer again. So as far as water, it's Cancer or Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, and Libra, okay? So minimal water, mostly the others, mostly the others. All right, let's see what your charms are, you guys. Okay. Interesting. So you're going to have that. Like, I seriously... Oh, okay. And I'm giving you that. And I know that I'm picking them. And it, the only reason I am is because I don't have a clue what the rest of these are. Oh, and then I will show you that. Okay. So let's take a look here, Virgo. As far as this person, like, okay, they're confirming here that someone is a Cancer. Okay. Now you could you could be a Cancer. You could have Cancer in your your Moon, your Venus, your Rising. Okay. And if you do, that that's just a message that this is more so for you. But with these pinchers, <laughs> you're gonna know this new person coming in because they're gonna pinch you like a little pinch to give you a little pinch. Um, either that or they like to cook and they'll say something like. I don't know if you ever saw that meme where the guy's like pinches salt and he drops the salt in. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. And here you have, uh, no lie, a Cinderella pumpkin carriage. Honey, let me just tell you, especially for the females or the femmes or the feminines, you're going to feel like a freaking princess. <laughs> I know some of my Virgos are out there street fighting, <laughs> but you're going to feel like a freaking princess with this new person. And you look back on all the old relationships and be like, why did I waste my time with all those other people? Why did I waste my time with all those pirates? Or those, those poisonous, toxic people? You know, you had that the other day. Why did I waste my time with a snake? Right? <laughs> look at those bones look like hearts. Almost as if it's like, 
this person came in with like all this love bombing or something but there's a skull and crossbone for a reason there's some type of connection either it's toxic energy or it's just a clip art or some kind of art or somebody has a sticker on their car with a skull and crossbones that kind of thing and you also have a pliers hmm now you could be working with one of these right now you could be working with a tool or you're just kind of reflecting back on all the tools you wasted your time on <laughs> um, maybe like the band tool um, this feels like an old school this feels like they're telling me old school like it's an old school tool <laughs> Are you looking back on your past person like you an old school tool fool but there's something here yeah i just feel like i'm hearing old school i don't know why i mean it's kind of like i don't know if there's such a thing as an electric pliers but like it's like some people like to use the handheld can opener and other people like to use the electric one right I just pick up an energy of like either this person is they're just kind of old school this new person showing up you know um, they know how to do stuff is what I'm hearing like they know I don't know are they gonna be a other mechanic maybe they're gonna know how to fix your car they get fix things around the house or are they gonna be that person that you know if you if this is like a female and you are like you don't have to worry they they can handle things like they're you know like you you like they don't call you every five minutes because they have like the door hinges busted masculine or feminine this person's like no i'll fix that myself they handle things like they handle their business so they come in with this emperor energy you know masculine or feminine it's just someone who handles their business you know what i mean they're very responsible they're also giving me a tiger here i don't know remember if we had a tiger but yeah let me just give you one more little bonus message here from my uh, Chinese fortune card deck just a bonus message for Virgo for the month of March oh, okay so what's this say achievement enjoy the limelight you've earned it although on the family front someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights okay so you're definitely gonna be shining like a star <laughs> Or at least feel that way you feel like you've achieved something um, keep an eye on loved ones and friends or a family member um, this month I'm not picking up like anything major is going on here um, you also have declutter declutter your life let go of correspondence objects and people you no longer want someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid so listen Virgo new love enters right don't try to have your cake and eat it too let that new person come in and explore that if you've been dealing with you know a shit stain if you've been dealing with that type of energy for a long time or some of you might have just been holding on out of loneliness or you've been on your own you know declutter your mind declutter the energy declutter physically everything get rid of everything that's a reminder of someone who either came in and hurt your heart or your feelings or just was not treating you well or you will even if you go with somebody new they're going to start revealing that side of themselves that you are going to be like oh i didn't know that they were like this you know so if you like remember i was saying that i felt like there was someone who's not going to want you to go they're going to start showing a side that uh you may not have seen before you know so you want to keep your eye on that all right i'm rambling i love you guys thank you for being here thanks to the, all the mods for their ever lasting um patronage <laughs> and assistance here on the channel thanks everyone for becoming a member feel free to join the virgo gang and hop in the chat you get some really cool emojis and you get your own cute badge and you get to regain your status if you remember before and you get shout outs here 
to as well. And especially when I start going live again, I'll be doing that soon. All right, you guys have a fantastic evening and I'll be back. Talk to you real soon. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.